Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to CryptoZX. I really appreciate you stopping by my channel today. To all my viewers watching my video right now, can I please ask you guys to smash that like button and hit the red subscribe button if you haven't already. This does help out the channel tremendously and it also keeps me motivated on making videos for you guys. But with that being said, let's jump right in today's content. Alright guys, before I begin, I would like to say the disclaimer. Anything on this channel should not be taken as financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies are super volatile, so please do your own due diligence and research before investing in these markets. Now, if we are looking at the overall crypto market cap today, guys, we are currently sitting at $1.92 trillion. We're up 0.8% in the last 24 hours. Meanwhile, BTC dominance is currently sitting at 40.7%. Like I uh, say in all my videos, BTC dominance on Coin Market Cap and on Coin Gecko is a little inaccurate, but to be exact, right now BTC dominance is currently sitting at 41.94%. One thing to point out is that we are still below that two trillion dollar market cap. Uh, you know, the two trillion dollar market cap has been holding as a, you know very strongly over the past uh, you know month and a half, but right now that is not the case. So I would like for the markets to go back above that uh, for us to um, you know be in. Uh, the safe end of the spectrum even though we are in the safe end of the spectrum right now uh, but i just would like to see the overall market above that two trillion dollar mark but now if we are looking at the prices uh, you guys can see we are seeing mild mild green across the board right now uh, some coins are up quite a bit binance coin up a 10.6 percent in the last 24 hours but in the meantime majority of the markets is only seeing mild green across the board but we will take that uh, but today, guys, I want to look further into VeChain. All right, my VeChain family, if we are looking at the VeChain's price, as you guys can see, VeChain is currently trading at 8.3 cents. Uh, we're up 1% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also up 1.3% in Bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours. VeChain's rank on coin market cap and on coin gecko is still holding the same as last video which is at the top 29 spot market cap right now is 5.6 billion dollars meanwhile 24 hour trading volume is at 318 million dollars zooming out and looking at the bigger picture guys in just the last year alone we're still up 554.8 percent yes we have seen VeChain drop quite a bit over the last 13 to 14 days but again this should not be coming as a surprise to any one of us because you guys know what has been happening in the markets uh, especially the china flood that has been coming out that is really affecting the markets uh, in the immediate short term uh, but now let's deep uh, dive into the charts but before i begin i just want to share um, an update that vchain foundation posted VFAM, we are excited to update you the latest status of POA 2.0. Uh, the technology is ready for phase one official implementation. That is to deploy the first uh, component of VIP-193 uh, to the VeChain Thor mainnet. Announcement and article and opening of VWO to follow soon. Um, so that is very exciting. A nice update for you guys um, regarding the POA 2.0. But now let's deep dive into the charts and see what's exactly going on and where we could be seeing VeChain go in the immediate short term. So as you guys can see, right off the bat, we're still, guys, in the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. We're trading right along those lines. We did see a wick up all the way up to 8.6 cents, uh, but we have not seen anything super exciting, uh, especially getting above this 10 cents mark. We are exactly where we were just two days ago, and I will take that. Uh, but um, right now, guys, still, I want VeChain to get back above that 10 cents mark. You guys don't realize how important this level of support really is for VeChain. And for us to get back above that level, we would need a move up of about 21% to get above this a price level. Uh, I could see that happen, you know, very, very fast as long as a Bitcoin uh, you know decides to go towards the upside rather than have its volatility let's look at bitcoin's price to get a better uh, picture as to what is uh, going on so as you guys can see once again we are below this level of resistance at this forty three thousand dollar mark and um, you know right now we're sitting at forty one thousand two hundred forty four dollar level and i have been saying this as long as we are below this forty three thousand two hundred sixty five dollar level guys you know, the door is definitely open uh, for the price of Bitcoin to go below $40,000. It's definitely on the table as we speak. 
So if we do consider these factors right now, um, obviously the fear, fear and greed index on um, uh, you know, Bitcoin is very, very high right now. Obviously, there's a lot of panic in the markets. You guys know what has been going on. The China FUD that is coming on regarding cryptocurrency and uh, how they might ban it. You guys, we have been hearing this for years and years and years. And, um, you know, it's just a way for, I believe, the whales to manipulate the markets and actually, you know, create major, major panic across the board. And that's what we are seeing. The fear and greed index, you know, at high levels uh, that we have seen that we haven't seen for quite a while so um, right now bitcoin is still in the shaky end of the spectrum um, we would like for bitcoin to obviously get back above uh, this forty three thousand uh, three hundred dollar level uh, but as of now that is not the case so what's happening with vchain obviously vchain is going to follow what the bitcoin uh, you know price uh, is going to do and as all the other altcoins obviously there is going to be one or two altcoin out there that is going to be outperforming the majority of the markets but that is not the case with all the coins right now vchain is reacting to the bitcoin price but i do believe i'm a strong believer guys if bitcoin were to go back above that forty three thousand two hundred dollar level and actually head back to 50k i would not be surprised at all you know for uh bitcoin uh, i'm sorry for vchain to get back into this 61.8 and actually even pass in this 13 cents mark i'm very very confident about that and i would not be surprised if that were to happen you know if we are bringing out the measuring tool just to give you guys a better picture we are down from uh, you know this run that we just had over the past month we are down 46.4 uh in just about two and a half weeks and this is why guys again i like giving you guys a reminder giving you guys get uh, a better picture uh, so you guys get a better perspective as to what is going on. This is exactly why I tell you guys, you know, lock in profits, guys, lock in profits, lock in profits, because you never know when the markets can have a reversal. So let's say we are seeing a beautiful move towards the upside, but you never know what news can come out that could, you know, affect the markets, because at the end of the day, cryptocurrencies are unregulated and there's big, big whale accounts that love creating panic across the board. And what happens when the panic is created? The price is obviously going to follow uh, towards the downside. And that's exactly what we're seeing happen. So imagine you took some profits around here and you bought back, you know, when uh, the dip occurred. You would be doing quite well. This is why it's very, very, very important to lock in profits. And I cannot stress this enough. But long term perspective, guys, I say this over and over again still the sky's the limit for a project like vchain right now for the immediate short term i would love i would love love uh, for vchain to get back about the 10 cents mark and actually hold above there i would not you know even mind if uh, vchain were to get above here and actually trade sideways you could do that you could do that all day like i would not complain uh but we need to get back above this level until then we're still in the danger zone in my personal opinion for the immediate short term uh, but you know i just like to give you guys a reminder look at the vchain thor ecosystem guys just look at it um, see what's going on and you guys can see some of the biggest organizations around the world that are using vchain thor blockchain and you guys can see we are seeing dhl we see walmart china we see bmw we see AWS, we see H&M, you guys get the, you know, gist of it, you know, the, uh, you know, list goes on and on and on and on. And this number is only going to get bigger as time goes by. So you guys need to put this into perspective. You know, they keep on developing. You guys need to realize this, especially the newcomers coming into the markets. You just don't invest in a coin. Uh, you know, it's not just like gambling. This is not gambling. You are investing into the project and you need to realize everything is correlated with the price of Bitcoin. So even if the project is absolutely insane, you know, it's, uh, you know, changing the world, uh, yada, 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 Bitcoin price will affect it in some way, shape, or form. But eventually, there's going to be the time that comes when markets are going to start coiling back towards the upside. And what's going to happen then, guys? Obviously, we will see, uh, you know, the projects like that, like especially like VeChain, you know, succeed. Because, again, you guys know, they are, so, you know, 
bringing mass adoption to the crypto space and they're doing it in a very, very, uh, you know, nice fashion that no one has ever seen before. So this is what gets me super, super bullish. And you guys need to realize that just even though we're seeing price action going towards the downside, you can't forget they keep on de delivering. They keep on expanding, innovating. So you guys get what I am trying to say. When the markets really do coil up towards the upside, markets tend to move up very, very fast. And I'm still a very strong believer that we are going to see newer all-time highs this year alone. Uh, but again, we need to pay very close attention to the Bitcoin price to see what is going to happen. But that is it for today's update, guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, where you guys see VeChain go in the immediate short term. Let me know in the comment section below. And come on, guys, hit 500 uh, likes on this video. You know, we will make it to the next 48 hours, so two days. You guys have two days to smash the like button uh, to 500 likes. Leave a comment section below um, and, you know, just subscribe. That's all you need to do. And if we are able to reach 500 likes, Within that time period, I will give $100 to one lucky winner, uh, you know, as a token of appreciation. Uh, my goal is to reach 100,000 subscribers, guys, and I know the Crypto ZX community will get there. I love each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, tuning in and sticking around. I love all of you guys, and I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. I'll, um, you know, stay safe out there. Safety, health, and family comes first, and everything else absolutely comes later. I will see you guys tomorrow. It's been Crypto ZX, and peace out.